trillion dollar shot against coronavirus. The US says it's planning a big and bold stimulus package as the economy falls victim to the outbreak. With this invisible enemy, we don't want airlines going out of business. We don't want people losing their jobs or not having money to live when they were doing very well just four weeks ago. In a parallel move, the UK announces unprecedented measures to protect British businesses from the pain of the pandemic. The coronavirus pandemic is a public health emergency, but it is also an economic emergency. We have never in peacetime faced an economic fight like this one. Malaysia becomes the latest country to impose a travel ban and the lockdown has caused chaos at its border with Singapore. And voting in the age of the coronavirus, three US states hold primaries but others have delayed theirs, including the big prize, Ohio. And it's eight in the evening in the United States, where the Trump administration is spearheading global efforts to help economies withstand the coronavirus pandemic. Well, the US is preparing an aid package reported to be worth $850 billion. This has lifted spirits on Wall Street, with the Dow Jones closing up more than 5%. It will include $50 billion for airlines, which have been hit hard by travel restrictions and a big drop-off in demand. $250 billion dollars will be for small business loans and possible checks sent to Americans in the next two weeks. And in a parallel move, Britain has announced what the finance minister here describes as an unprecedented package of measures to keep UK businesses afloat. So let's now take a look at some of the day's other developments. The global death toll from COVID-19 is now more than seven and a half thousand, and there are more than 190,000 cases. The number of dead has continued to soar in Italy and Spain, while France has started a strict lockdown. The European Union has decided to ban travellers from outside the bloc for 30 days in an unprecedented move to seal its borders. There are exemptions for citizens of Britain, Switzerland and three other states. The move, designed to prevent the spread of the coronavirus, will apply to all non-essential visits. Beijing has also reacted angrily to a tweet by Donald Trump, which refers to, quote, the Chinese virus. A foreign ministry spokesperson said the phrase stigmatized China. Australia's Prime Minister has announced an indefinite ban on all overseas travel in an unprecedented move designed to choke off the spread of the coronavirus epidemic. Scott Morrison said the instruction was very clear, saying the biggest risk and incidence of cases has come from Australians returning from overseas and adding, if we slow the spread, we do save lives. And European football's governing body, UEFA, has now confirmed that Euro 2020 will be delayed by a year to the summer of 2021. They've also confirmed that all club and national team competitions for both men and women's teams have been put on hold until further notice due to the epidemic. It's also dominating the papers. Let's start with the Japan Times, which leads on the future of the Tokyo Olympics. The paper says that the Prime Minister Shinzo Abe may have accepted that the Games need to be postponed because of the risks of the virus. And the image is of him on a conference call. He's talking to other G7 leaders. They're discussing how to manage this global crisis. The Philippine Star has a dramatic picture of people who are behind those police barriers after a community quarantine was introduced in Bulacan. And the paper says that President Duterte Sinair has declared a six-month nationwide what he describes as a state of calamity to combat coronavirus. And finally, the New York Times focuses on Italy, where traditional funerals have been banned. This image is of undertakers in Bergamo, where the cemetery has been closed for the very first time since the First World War. So the papers dominated by coronavirus. And here in the UK, a big increase in restrictions on everyday life has been partly prompted by research from Imperial College London, of course, a story we brought you last night. The scientific modelling from a team there warned that Britain was on course for a catastrophic epidemic and that the number of deaths in the UK could reach a quarter of a million. Well, that was unless officials took a very different approach to the pandemic. Life under lockdown. The French are now pretty much banned from leaving their homes, even to visit family and friends. 
the Australian Prime Minister has announced an indefinite ban on all overseas travel. Scott Morrison said the biggest risk and incidence of cases has come from Australians returning from overseas. It's also now banned gatherings of 100 people or more, but schools are still open. Brazil has announced the partial closure of its land border with Venezuela, banning Venezuelans and other foreigners from crossing. At least 30 people have tested positive in Venezuela. In Brazil, there are about 300 confirmed cases. One person has died.